Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. Today we're going to talk about conditional formatting for financial models. In particular we're going to talk about uh, conditional formatting for checks and balances. So as always if you haven't already done so I'd recommend that you read the blog tutorial. You can find it at www.videofinancialmodeling.com slash blog. Okay, so in this short blog tutorial, we're going to do an example whereby we conditional format the check cell so that it comes up with a red background and white font and the OK cell with a green background with black font. Okay, so we're going to select these two. We're going to go up to conditional formatting. Now, if you're a bit more advanced, you can obviously use your, your Alt keys, Alt, H, L for conditional formatting. And we're going to go down to the highlight cell, new cell rules, and we're going to go equal to. Okay, so we're going to go format the cells that equal to and we can just go OK and we're going to change that to a green fill and with dark green text. That's OK for the moment. Uh, we'll actually, we'll do a custom format on it and we'll go the fill colors stays the same. So we'll go green there. We're going to change the font to white, OK, and then OK. OK, now we're going to do the check. So we're going to go conditional formatting. So Alt H L again, and we're going to go N for new rule. And we're going to go down and we're going to go to cell value equal to and we're going to go check and we're going to go to format again we're going to fill it with red and we're going to go and change the font to white and I think we said with the OK uh, we were going to do a black font so we'll change that in a sec we're going to go OK and OK now, if we want to edit it, we can go to conditional format, manage rules, and we want to change this one. I'm going to edit rule, and we go format, and we'll change the font color to black, and push OK, and OK, and apply, and there we have it. OK, now what if we type in OK here? It's going to change and it's not case sensitive either either. So we can put it back to check, etc, etc. Now you can do this with a lot of different things. Um, for example, when you're highlighting a scenario that you're on uh, in a scenario selector, you can change that so it goes to the selected scenario. Um, you can do this with with checks along the row. Uh, conditional formatting is really neat. Uh, to, to find out where your model is, is deficient or um, doesn't balance, for example, in a balance sheet. So you can use it for those uh, special occasions. We hope you've enjoyed this short video financial modeling blog tutorial. Uh, if you had, sign up to us on YouTube or subscribe to our newsletter. Thanks.